Hello everybody, my name is Edgar from the Bain Group, and today I'll be showing how you can leverage Loop for your Microsoft Teams meeting notes before, during, and after your meeting from the new Teams update. Now let's get to it. To start us off, Loop is an online collaborative platform developed by Microsoft, which is now being implemented into Teams. With Loop, you can prepare for your meetings by generating an agenda, creating meetings notes, and also creating tasks with, uh, task sections within your meeting. So if we expand an existing meeting like this one, we'll click here, expand meeting. On the bottom of the meetings uh, detail section, we can see an add an agenda button. So once we click this, I'll prompt us to create a loop file. As you can see here, it says getting things ready with the loop logo right next to it. And now we have a loop file. So with this loop file, it'll allow us to collaborate with our teammates using notes. So on the agenda, we can add our topics to um, prepare for our next meeting. So let's add start start off meeting, start off meeting, and then we'll tag Alex Wilbur to this task on the agenda. Click here. As we can see, Alex Wilbur is um, showing as a dotted off line, kind of grayed out. As you can see that people you mentioned will not only see components shared with them, and they won't be notified. So to fix this, we could grant access to this loop file by clicking the plus button. On uh, here, we'll be able to grant Alex Wilbur access to this loop component. There we go. We could also verify who has access to this loop file by hovering over this see who has access and clicking on it. And now we can see that we, the creator of this loop file, I'm signed in as a Del Vance, and also Alex Wilbur, who we just added on this loop component. So now that our agenda is made and we're prepared for our new meeting, let's see how we could take collaborative notes during our meeting. All right, now that we have joined our ongoing meeting, we want to take some notes with our team in real time. So how do we go about that? While in a meeting, we're able to see a notes tab on the top navigation. So once we click that, we're able to see the loop component that we've been working on in the meetings details. So here we could see the agenda item that we've added before. And if you wanted to add more, you could also do that here. So we just click enter, we can add a new item. Let's just say notes review. Or we could tag this to Megan. Make us added, and we can also do the grant access thing as well within the meeting. And now that problem is fixed, let's remove that. All right, so while in the meeting, we're able to take collaborative notes as well. So um, in the collaborative notes section and meeting notes, um, everybody that's part of this meeting is able to contribute to this in real time. Let's add a little note here. We'll just say mitigation items need to be fixed by Friday. Fixed by Friday. So now we've added a new note. We can see here that I have added the note. So there's a little tag as well. And whenever other people are adding things to the meetings notes, we'll be able to see their little icon as well. So we know exactly who's adding what um, during the notes. So while people are contributing to the notes in real time, we'll be able to see what they're typing uh, as well as what sections are part of. So as you can see there, I should appear. And then also on the top of meeting notes, we can see who's actually contributed to these meeting notes as well. So another cool feature that is included within this tab is follow-up task. So while in follow-up tasks, we're able to click this button here to add a task. So how that works, we see a new task that has now been populated where we can add a name. So let's just say uh, notes review is part of our follow-up task. And we can assign that to Alex. So we'll just tap Alex and we'll click his profile. We can also add a due date as well to this task, which will be important coming up later on this video. So now I have Alex here. So the cool thing with follow up task, these actually link to your Microsoft planner as well. In real time, now that we've added these follow up tasks onto our meeting notes, in Microsoft planner, we're able to see what follow up tasks belong to us and when it's due, and we can also track these tasks as well. So this is really good for managing a project where we know exactly who's doing what, what's due, and what we need to do in order to complete these tasks as well. Because these meeting notes are also linked to these follow-up tasks. So to see this in action, let's add a task for ourselves. Let's just say um, fix code. Something simple. We'll send this to ourselves. Adele Vance. We can add a due date for Friday as well. 
So now that we've taken some insightful notes and we wrote down some follow-up follow tasks for our team members to work on, how do we follow up on these tasks and notes post-meeting? Now that we have ended the meeting, if we go back to the meeting's details on Teams, we can access the loop meeting notes and see all the contributions that have been made during the meeting. So as we can also see on the follow-up tasks, we could see um, a more tabled view of all the follow-up tasks that we have contributed during the meeting. And also on the, on the bottom, we could see Alex Wilbur has one item and then also we, Adele Vance, have one item as well. So from what I was mentioning beforehand in the last part of this video where these follow-up tasks are linked to your planner, let me show you how that works. So if we actually go onto planner for Adele Vance, so we can see welcome Adele Vance. If we check assigned to me, we can see that our follow-up tasks and our software development meeting shows up here. So if we click on this and we can see the fixed code um, follow task has been assigned to us. We can add notes on here and we can see that the due date has been updated for us in, um, in real time since we added that during the meeting. If we're confused on what this, main, what this means or where this came from, we also have the loop meeting notes a link to this task. So we click here and we can go back and read over the meetings notes that we took during the meeting as well. So these follow-up tasks are also linked to your to-do. So if you go on to-do as well, so here's to-do for Adele Vance. If we click on planned, we can also see the fixed code is part of our to-do list as well. So that's a very cool feature. And we can also click open here and view the meeting notes as well, like on the planner. As you can see, this new loop integration with Teams enhances the way we are able to take notes within meetings. You are able to prepare for a meeting with collaboration effectively take notes during a meeting, and easily follow up after a meeting with the integration features with Planner and To-Do using the follow-up task feature. There are many innovative features coming to this tool in the future, including Microsoft's new Copilot tool, which will integrate very nicely with this new function. So make sure to subscribe and keep up to date with us so you don't miss that tutorial in the future. I hope this tutorial helps you with your meetings and makes your life easier. Thank you, and see you again on the next video.